Good afternoon, everyone. Hey. It's Explore More World, and we're back at it again. We're actually going to Akumal uh, Beach or Bay, Akumal. <laughs> it's uh, on the way to Tulum from uh, Playa del Carmen. But we just got on uh, a Colectivo, which is uh, the local bus. Took us um, here in about 20 minutes. And um, it was actually located behind the McDonald's there in Playa del Carmen. So if anyone wants to know, that's where you really need to go. Is to find that's the, the bus stop you need to go to to get the bus that comes out here. Because there's a lot of different bus stops, but just like in the US, you have different bus stops for different places that you're trying to get to. So be sure you go to the one that's behind the McDonald's. I can't remember the name of that exact street, but it seems like a little, kind of like a downtown area in Playa. Um, so that's the one you want to use by the McDonald's. Altogether, it cost um, 25 pesos each, which is equivalent to $1.50 in US money. Um, but we're currently, we had to walk across the uh, highway because where they drop you off, you walk over um, an overpass so you can get to the other side. But we're currently on our way there. Um, I've been notified that there is a $6 US fee. But we don't know yet. We'll see when we we're get not, there and then yeah. we can fill you in on exactly how much it costs to get in. Information changes, you know, so we'll let you know exactly how much it costs for us to get in at this point in time. So we'll keep you updated on all of that. Yeah, so stay tuned and um, you definitely see some awesome footage here in just a little bit because you might see some turtles because that's what <laughs> we're looking forward to. So let's see how the we'll marine life and all this looks like I feel down like here. I like a local. I took a collectivo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys stay good, stay blessed. We'll catch up with you later. And hey everyone, stick around until the end of this video um, because we'll be sharing some really good information with you. We'll be showing where we paid for the tour, where we got our um, locker and key. We'll be showing you a lot of great things and introducing you to some people who helped us along the way here. So definitely stick around until the very end so you don't miss out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can stay up to date when we release new content. So after we paid for the tour, which was 1,200 pesos, um, that's 60 US dollars, um, that breaks down to about $30 per person. After we paid for that and got our lockers, which was a 100 peso deposit, you get that back when you turn the key in, by the way. You walk into the locker area to change, rinse off if you want to, use the restroom, things like that. And I'll be having some footage of that towards the end of this video, so be sure you stick around. But this area here is where we walked out and met with Speedy, our tour guide. He was really awesome, by the way. You'll definitely meet him in this video as well. Um, but this is where we met up with Speedy to start our tour to see the turtles. Now we actually kind of just showed up here. We didn't have anything pre-booked or pre-scheduled. Once we got here um, and booked the tour, we were told that this is actually the only way to see the turtles. Um, other than that, you have to stay outside of the roped off area where you really don't see too much. I mean, you can snorkel out there if you want, but you're really not going to see anything. So I do highly suggest if you come here, just go ahead and pay for the tour so you can be sure you get to snorkel with some turtles. Unless you just want to come out here and chill and relax, which I could definitely do that all freaking day.
Bye bye. A tour guide. Hola amigos, come on to Akumal, visit. Swimming with turtles. 
Yeah, yeah man. Hey, everybody. <laughs> everybody. everybody. <laughs> Make sure you wear your life jackets at all times. No life jacket, no snorkel, no enter. No enter. <laughs> Remember, when you, when you come to Nakuma, you have to, to look for the speedy. Okay? Look for speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, we all look though. Check it out, guys. Oh, yeah, here. Go down, hold the tour to the It's a scarf, Yeah, you're not supposed to touch them. I don't know how you say like a tumor. Tumor? 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 And then when the tour to the only one day, like a Oh. oh. Really? Wow. Dangerous. Wow. Huh. Is there a sandbar out here? Sandbar? Like the, you see the ocean how the... Oh, it's like shallow. But we can't go there because sometimes... The, the current? The undercurrent. Yeah, it'll pull you out. Yeah, yeah, show you So our tour guide Speedy was basically letting this man know um, that he could not snorkel in this area. In order to snorkel within the roped off areas, um, you do have to have on a life jacket and be with the tour guides. And since he did not, he was asked to um, snorkel outside of this area.
bueno, los clanes, esa sargentos mayores, la, la cantante. Uh -huh. snorkeling with him we saw some turtles and what were those fish that we saw piranhas no we're not piranhas no they weren't no sargentos mayores sargentos mayores yes not piranhas no piranhas <laughs> they were beautiful were and the awesome. reef was awesome so guys if you all ever come out here definitely look up speedy what's the name of the company again turn around there we go. Akumal Mayan Street. Akumal Mayan Street. See, I can't say it like him, but you you heard it. <laughs> yeah. We had an awesome time. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. It was great. It was great. Ready? Get ready for cardio. Forty-five minutes of cardio. That's awesome. Now it's time for cervezas. <laughs> It's time for margaritas. Yes, margaritas. Margaritas and cucarachas, tequila. Yes, tequila. <laughs> tequila. <laughs> All right, thank you. After we 
rinsed off, dried off, and everything um, back at the lockers and the restrooms, we decided to come back out and walk around on the beach a little bit, just explore a little bit of the area. We didn't stay too, too long um, after snorkeling, but we did stay long enough just to kind of chill and hang out and relax a little bit. Um, the snorkeling was so much fun though guys. I highly recommend coming out here and checking this out Even if you don't go snorkeling with the sea turtles, which you know is the main thing to do here But even if you don't do that just come out and chill and relax on the beach because it is absolutely beautiful and amazing out here Like I said before I could have stayed out here all day Guys, check it out. There's some type of bunker or something down here. These must be like, uh, are these like little um, villas. villas or something? These are nice villas that you can get. Yeah, they are. Nice can you hold this? set up your tour to snorkel with the turtles you come here to this location and you pick up a key for your locker and a wristband um, the key or excuse me not the key you pay a how much was the deposit I can't remember 100 pesos. 100 pesos but they do give that back to you once you return the key and then here is the entrance That there is the entrance where the, you can find your lockers and then walk through to the beach. There's lockers there, showers, restroom, and then you walk through to the beach. Cabanas, a couple restaurants out there. Yep, there's some beach restaurants, cabanas, chairs. <laughs> this is the exit. walk down this little path to the exit and up here you will find a little convenience store where you can also use the restroom in there you can have get some drinks and some snacks and things 
pizza place in the tavern over there. Yep, there is a little restaurant over there. Looks like pizza, some sort of tavern. They also have a gift shop in there, of course, and some little shops around. And I'll show you where we booked the tour. So, like we said, we were gonna let you all know exactly what to expect when you come out here. So as of right now, and of course, we don't know if this information is ever going to change, um, but as of right now, what is this? February, 2022, <laughs> you have to pay six US dollars to enter because you can't just come to this beach anymore. It's not a public beach anymore. You pay six US dollars per person to enter. There may be different pricing for children, I'm not sure. And you'll come to this stand here. This is the stand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll come to this stand. This is where we actually set up this, the tour for the snorkeling. And it was, how much was it again, 60? It was $30 a person. So. Yeah, $60 for both of us, which was 30. 1200 pesos. 30 US dollars, 1200 pesos. Right across from this little shop here. As for Speedy, because Speedy was a great tour. Yes, yeah, Speedy was a great tour guide. We had a lot of fun with him today. Um, and they will give you snorkeling gear. They give you everything that you need here. And then you head over to get your locker and um, go to the shower areas and put your stuff away. Mm -hmm. And they will actually wait for you. So. Yeah, they wait for you, give you time to do whatever you need to do. There's a changing area, restroom, showers, lockers. Yeah, this is like the main, main entrance here. That breeze feels wonderful. And when we walked in, guys, they did take our temperature and masks are required until you get out to the beach. Hey guys. Hey, it, it was good. awesome. Was awesome. Good. Yeah, yeah, lots of fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the guy that hooked yep. us this, up with the tour. This is the guy that hooked us up with the tour, guys. Next time you come, you come to Busy Dog. Yes, we definitely will. Take definitely. Care, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. So we saw, what's the little market that we stopped in? It was this one right here. Oh, we yeah. We stopped in the general store and gra grabbed us some water to have on the beach, but they have different stuff here. There's a, a OXXO, some little shops down there if you wanna get some little trinkets. If you forgot your swimming trunks, you're covered once you get here. <laughs> if you need a new necklace before you hit the beach, you wanna be bling blinging, they got you. <laughs> <laughs> they got you covered, whatever you need. All right. Well, we've walked all the way out through the exit. Now we are walking back to the bus stop so we can catch the bus <laughs> back to Playa del, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Playa del Carmen, Playa del Carmen, however you'd like to pronounce it. <laughs> we are now taking the bus back. Um, what was it coming here? Coming here, it was like a dollar, a dollar fifty per person. So I'm assuming that's what it would be on the way back as well. And this is the walk to the bus stop. It's not very far at all. It is probably about a, a 10 minute walk. <laughs> yeah, probably about a 10 minute walk from the main entrance um, to the bus stop. Some pretty cool art on the wall over here. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm.
we'll be at the bus stop in just a little bit. All right, guys, we made it to the bus stop. Wasn't too far of a walk. This is that bus stop over there is actually where we were dropped off earlier today, and then we had to walk across. We had to walk across that overpass there, that little bridge, and down. And then you walk around. Some awesome artwork. going straight and it takes you to the entrance. And here comes the shuttle bus that's going to take us back to play. Hopefully we can get on one of these. <laughs> A lot of people leaving right now. so much for tuning in with us everyone we greatly appreciate it if you liked this video or maybe have a new idea on a place to travel be sure to give this video a thumbs up and as always don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out bye guys